I think the, the current projections for the role of nuclear power in the uh, Czech energy landscape, if I may say so, are not realistic uh, on one hand. But on the other hand, it's also um, a plan that actually blocks the road for reorganization of the energy sector that is actually future-oriented. Uh, the, the way it's currently designed is sort of a going backwards. Um, uh, vertically integrated uh, energy systems are systems of the past. The future is like the internet. It's more on a horizontal basis uh, where the producers and consumers will uh, exchange roles and the rules are totally different. So looking more into the future would probably be very helpful for decision makers uh, in the Czech Republic. Olkiluoto 3 and Flammaville 3 are the two only new reactor building uh, projects in Europe that came up over, uh, within the decades, last decades. Um, the experiences show that uh, the current savoir-faire, the capacity to actually, actually manage and build up those projects is not anywhere near to expectations. So we have a situation where we have roughly doubling of uh, the original cost estimates or even more. Uh, we have had this morning uh, an interview in a, in a French paper saying we're standing now at 6.6 .6 billion uh, euros for a project in Finland that was supposed to cost 2.5 uh, billion. It's five years late and the consequences are not only on the energy side. Like it will cost the utility a lot of money, will cost the builder a lot of money, but it's also a failed climate change policy because um, the, the Finnish government had counted on all Kyoto 3 uh, in order to fulfill its requirements under the Kyoto Protocol. This is now all uh, uh, impossible. So it will cost uh, the Finnish state additional money in order to buy certificates or in order to uh, buy other uh, uh, electricity sources that are carbon free. So it will cost a huge amount of money on all fronts. Well, today I don't think that the generation technologies uh, are the issue anymore. There are a lot of uh, competitive uh, electricity generating uh, technologies, renewable uh, technology based, uh, that are already competitive. Uh, it's very interesting because people always uh, argue nationwide or internationally, but uh, those are decentral uh, sources, electricity generating sources, and one has to look at the specific conditions and specific uh, conditions. And it's very clear that many wind uh, situations are highly profitable today, don't need any subsidies, are profit uh, competitive. And the same is true, for example, for island generation of uh, photovoltaic uh, electricity. And we're looking into a situation where even on a uh, national grid size, as in, in Germany, we're, we're thinking now that, that uh, photovoltaics will be not more expensive than the average price on the German grid system. So it will be competitive within uh, the three or four years uh, uh, to come.